The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 32, Same Group The examiners in charge of the academy examinations were already up on stage, and the personnel that was holding the wooden buckets had recorded the different categories to divide them into groups for the examinations. First up were the female groups, for the four scholarly arts. The students of Guangwentang did not have to take the academy examinations in the first grade, only when they are in grades 2 and 3. Grade 3 was done at the next wave, and, thus, only grade 2 students were left with around 20 over people. The female who attended Guangwentang was the capital's noble daughter, and Su daughters did not qualify. Even among the D daughters, families would also hire teachers into the residence to teach. Moreover, the fees for Guangwentang were not low, every year their profits would reach a thousand liang. In the beginning, Shen Xin did not care about such money matters, so, the three daughters of the Shen residents were all sent to Guangwentang. Ren Wan Yun had some dissatisfaction with the matter, but, Shen Xin waved his hands on it, and they did not dare to continue arguing. After all, the money in the public fund was all rewards that the emperor gave to Shen Xin for his battle efforts. Twenty-two people were divided into four groups, there were more, seven people, in the kin group since females had always liked things that highlight themselves. For the other three topics, there were five people each. In the painting group where Shen Miao was in, there was Shen Yu, left commanding Imperial Censor's D daughter, Qin King from Feng Yan residence, Fu Yin residence's Fan Liu Er, and Zhao Yan from the left Vice Minister residence. Fan Liu Er and Zhao Yan were both somewhat disappointed. Fan Liu Er's expertise was in the Qin, and Zhao Yan was good in chess, moreover, no one was like Shen Yu who was proficient in every category. To be unable to pick their expertise in front of the males, Fan Liu Er and Zhao Yan were not satisfied with it. It was Qin King, who was as arrogant as usual. Qin King was pretty, and was the only rival of Shen Yu in Guangwentang, but, not on talent. Even though Shen Yu was a soft beauty, Qin King looked glamorous, and her presence could push her down. Shen Miao's eyes landed on Qin King. Today she was wearing a green wide-sleeved cotton robe, and there was a yellow belt on her waist. Her waist was less than a grip, and with the fluttering of her robes, there was some fairy-like feeling. As compared to the weak, and soft appearance of Shen Yu, she was like a pure water lily. However, in such a life of a beautiful female would be caught up in the late emperor's plan of cleaning up the noble family clans. After the left commanding imperial censor's family suffered a defeat, she was reduced to a prostitute in the army, and later it was heard that she used a knife and perished with some insignificant soldier in the army. Seeming aware of Shen Miao's sight, Qin King looked over, and was somewhat surprised, but, then turned back with some disgust, as if she was not willing to see one more look of Shen Miao. Shen Miao was not bothered about it, but, it was Feng and Ning, who stood beside her, who tugged the corner of her clothes. Later on you should just draw anything casually, and not think too much. Feng and Ning thought it simply. Since one would be humiliated, to be humiliated like that would make those people find it boring. But, if Shen Miao strives to be vindicated, and did overstep the boundaries of propriety, then it would be a major disadvantage. Shen Miao nodded. After hearing the examiners on stage beating the drum, the academy examinations officially started. The first comparison was Qin. It could be Feng and Ning's good luck as the female students who had picked Qin all had mediocre skills. In addition to being the best few in Qin, it turns out to be a lucky coincidence. Feng and Ning had picked up a big advantage. Moreover, Feng and Ning had been practicing her Qin skills hard these recent days 
and it was finally not in vain. When she was sitting, there was some air of a gentlewoman, and coupled with her good looks, and kin sounds that comparing with those mediocre others, it was like a burst of breeze that made one feel pure, and cool. A blue-clad youth at the male section of the banquet said, it's sonorous, and resounding. When Kylin heard it at the side, he kicked that youth unhappily. What was that? That was because one did not hear you Urkin. If you er was to play a piece, even nine heavenly fairies would not be able to compare. Such ignorance. Kylin was one who always protected his crush, but, Su Ming Lang who heard it began to twitch his mouth. He wanted to say something, but, seeing his brother's warning eyes, he held back. The Ken category was almost finished and the few examiners started to discuss with one another judgment. After the kin group was done, it was then chess. The process for chess was much simpler. The five people were divided into two, and play with one another, one game to define the winner, and marks were awarded for the chess strategy, and manner. In this category, the winner was Yi Pei Lan. After chess, it was literary, Shen King, Bei Wei and Zhang Zhao were all in a group. These three people were good friends normally, but, in the academy examination, there was a nervous atmosphere. This time the literary context would be based on chrysanthemum. One would pick up the brush to write a poem down, first to see the calligraphy, and second to see one's talent. Shen King's expertise was not at poetry, and chess, but, accounting. Unfortunately, accounting was in the male examinations, so, she did not get it. But, as long as the final result was not out, no one would know who would be in the first position. One would need to wait till the end before it reaches Shen Miao's group. Shen Yu glanced at Shen Miao. Most likely she still remembered that Shen Miao humiliated her just now. Shen Miao did not try to maintain their good sister's appearance. She smiled at Shen Miao. Later at the stage, fifth younger sister must not give way to older sister. To have such a confident appearance, even I am a little afraid. These words were heard by Fan Liu Er at the right moment, and she could not help but laugh. Shen Yu, what are you talking about? What confidence appearance, could it be? Shen Miao has a trump card. Since you say it to such, I have some expectations already. Zhao Yan said and rejoice at her misfortune. Remember last year Shen Miao picked kin, but, pull the strings off from a good bamboo kin. It must be that she had inherited General Shen's bravery. This year is painting. The brush better not be broken. As she spoke, she touched Shen Miao's cheek, such a fair, and tender face, better not paint on this face later on. Shen Miao did not move, and just look at her indifferently. Under that extremely cold eyes, Zhao Yan's smile gradually froze, and Fan Liu Er also felt that Shen Miao's expression was not good. There was a sudden wave of fear in her heart and she involuntarily pulled Zhao Yan's hand back. Kin King seemed somewhat impatient, and glanced at Shen Miao. Quarrel what quarrel? If you want to quarrel then go upstage, and quarrel, and let everyone see both of your appearances. After she said it like that, even though Zhao Yan, and the rest were not happy about it, they did not speak anymore. At the male side of the banquet, Kai Lin looked at Shen Yu's figure excitedly, but, that try stumpling tugged Su Ming Feng, that pretty older sister is there. Eldest brother look, Su Ming Feng was between laughter, and tears, he did not know how his own younger brother was, so, persistent with Shen Miao. He was already grade 3, and this was the first time he was out after being seriously ill and also evidently weak, so, he was unable to participate in the academy examinations. He also knew of Shen Miao's reputation, after all the entire Ding capital knew that the formidable Shen general was unhindered in the battlefields, but, 
had an idiot for a daughter, she will win. Su Ming Lang said while making a fist with his hands. Su Ming Feng did not express an opinion as he knew that it would be Shen Yu who would win first place today again. In front of the stage, Shen Yu could not help, but, spoke to Shen Miao, fifth younger sister, later on. You must not show any mercy. Older sister will wait for you. Definitely. Shen Miao answered, would not show any mercy.